infectious diseases pharmacist. I work in a hospital in Delaware, Nanakook Memorial Hospital. I work there with many physicians, nurses, and other healthcare practitioners taking care of patients on a daily basis. I specialize in general infectious diseases, mostly patients that would have infections as a result of different bacteria, viruses, or even fungus sometimes. When I was an undergraduate student at Hood College in Frederick, Maryland, I got a job at USAMRID, which is the United States Army Medical Research Institute for Infectious Diseases on Fort Detrick. There I worked with a colonel and we started working on different types of experiments for infectious diseases. And that's when I fell in love with looking at bacteria and how they can affect patients as well as how we can control and prevent different infections for patients. I think really the public attitudes towards vaccines and antibiotics have changed over time. People have become a little more afraid of vaccinating themselves as well as their loved ones, including their children, because of the fear that vaccines can lead to health consequences. In addition to that, antibiotics have been widely used over time and I feel that the public has decided or come to the conclusion that they may be overutilized by healthcare practitioners. A couple of years ago, there was an outbreak of measles in the United States, which we had previously not seen. All of the individuals that contracted measles had not been vaccinated. So this is one of the easily preventable diseases that we have a vaccine for. The benefits of vaccines and antibiotics are that in addition to working with the body's immune system to fight infections, sometimes we can use vaccines and antibiotics to actually prevent getting infections. So for example, you know, utilizing an annual influenza vaccine to help prevent patients who are elderly or very young from getting influenza is something that is recommended by many authorities, including the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As my role as a pharmacist, in preventing and controlling the spread of infections, one of the things that I do is I work with the physicians in the hospital to assure that patients get the best therapy that they can for the infection that they have. Now that I have two young children and I've seen the impact that infections and infectious diseases can have on patients, I want to make sure that I do the best that I can for my patients as well as the person who may come in the next time as a patient, so the public in general. Make sure that the public's aware of different things that we can all do to help reduce the incidence of infection as well as taking care of those who have infections. Most recently, I was made a fellow of the Infectious Disease Society of America, which was a very great honor for me. And then last year I was made a fellow of the American Society of Health System Pharmacists. Advancing the field of infectious disease management and prevention has been a personal goal of mine for quite some time. One of the things that I do is I embark on clinical research with patients to help find the best medications to treat infections, as well as maximizing the doses of medications so that we get the best benefit for the patient while avoiding any side effects or toxicities for them. I educate healthcare practitioners as well as the public on how to prevent infections, good hand hygiene, making sure that they control diseases that can affect their ability to fight infections like diabetes, 
And then also, I educate healthcare professionals on the best ways to treat particular infections, the best methods, the best types of antibiotics to use. I really love taking care of patients, helping them feel better. It's very fulfilling to me to see a patient who has been very ill recover from you know, their infection and walk out of our hospital feeling much better and doing much better. If someone wanted to learn more about me or my practice, you could contact me through Nanakoke Memorial Hospital or through email at kim underscore couch at yahoo.com.